Welcome back to Homestead, Mississippi. Start off with, I was going to give you a um, little update on our garden. You know, uh, we've we've been working hard out here, and um, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes built over there. We're going to put some stuff in, and over here we've got a larger one. I don't know if we're going to leave the box the way I have it, the wood. We're going to put corn and stuff like that here. And we're going to end up with a fence all the way around us here, an electric fence that'll come all the way up through here. And there's Mr. Cool and the girls. We've got our fig trees right there. We've got our goji berry bush right there. We're going to bring the greenhouse and put it right down here. We've got all the wood down. Now it's just cleaning up and Mima is putting the seeds into eggshells. She's going to let them start growing and then she's going to plant them that way. And uh, that's how we're going to get this thing started. It's still mid-February. So it's probably a little early to start planting here because we're going to get some more frost. And uh, we don't want it to kill whatever we plant. So right over here, we got, we got to clean this up. I've got, I've got a blueberry bush right here. It's still alive. And I've got another one right in here that I'm hoping is still alive. And then up the path here, through there... I have more blueberry bushes and stuff like that. So we're going to have some fruit going. We've got plenty of fruit trees. And uh, hopefully this year we're going to have a lot of fruit. We didn't have that much last year, but we had some. Then we found the uh, persimmon tree right up the hill here. Looking to get us a little garden going here. Well, nice brisk morning today. Um, gonna go out here, we've let the goats out into the field and I've been alerted that there's an issue. Up close to the road, there's a limb on the fence. And Yael, one of our lead goats, she likes leading the rest of the pack. She's been getting out. Yeah, she didn't go across the road. The grass is just greener on the other side. So, you know, I'm going to go up there, check it out, see what's going on. See if I can fix it just by removing the limb or if I have to do some mechanical work. That's all right because I've got barbed wire. I can string along and fix it if I need. Let's go. Also, since we got uh, Blondie, we wanted to make sure she had free range access to hay. And um, what we did is we pulled one of the bales of hay from across the way to over here. We didn't want it to get to the goats because if they get on it, they're going to jump on it and tear it down and everything. So we push it up against the fence right here so Blondie can come eat and so can they. As you can see, it's working out quite well here. Unfortunately, the chickens like getting in it, but they're they're gonna get in it wherever it is. They they like jumping in it. So we just push this up against here, and in the evenings when we put them away, we fill up their buckets and their hay mangers. We pull it from this side and fill those up so they have hay at night. There's Blondie. It's cold this morning. Hey, Blondie. <laughs> I don't see you, Yael, with the herd over there. I think I do. You think you do? I'm going to say she's jumped the fence. Or just went over no, the fence. I don't know you see her? No? I see Naomi. I see Clover. I, I, I see... All of them. I don't see... Yael. No, Yael's not in there. She... Boy, it's cold across this. Nope, I see her. 
and she's up there next to the road. Yep. I just hope her baby is not with her. No, nope, the other one's over there for the rest of, rest of them. So her babies are ones over here, ones over there, and she's out there by herself. Then everybody else babysit for her. Yeah, old people will hit you like a deer. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> she. I don't know if you can see through here, but she just took off running from the road back to the fence over there. Let's see if we can find, locate where she's been getting over. I think that's here. No, she can't get over right there. Oh, she just showed me. She just came in. <laughs> over here next to this crazy contraption we made back last oh i don't remember when we tried to make this thing but papa was insistent that we use this wrought iron and i tried i was going to make a shelter for the donkeys and uh well when i say it fell it failed and it failed and it's horrible i've got to take it down it looks ugly and be careful going under it, buddy. So, hey, I told you I'd show you my failures, and this was one. This was a makeshift lean-to that I was going to make for the donkeys about a year ago. And, um, yeah, it, it just it, it just fell. And it was a year ago because I had Mr. Chris's tractor out here at the time. All right, she crossed right here. So she just went right through here. So she stepped on it and went through it. Is that really how she's getting through right here? No, this is where it was, right here. This ain't gonna prevent her from moving this. Uh, well, I guess if I get the barbed wire back down, close that gap, that'll stop her. I just gotta make sure there's not any other areas where she's doing it. Yeah, let's push this up. <clears throat> yeah, maintenance to your fence. That's one of the things you gotta do. And you see all the water in here? Thank you. Thank you. Play the piano. So you play good and then you play like Maya. Fortunately, this is the first time any of the goats have gotten out. And um, it's only because there's such a huge gap here. So we're gonna take care of it. When we put them in their pen, they normally do fine. I really didn't come prepared for this much work. I thought it was gonna be just coming up, seeing what's going on. I should have brought some clippers. That would have made it easy. It got me. Ah! Call 911. I'll be all right. Just a little blood.
don't you come just... Oh, that's it. Gabriel just saw the problem. This hole right here. She's going, stepping right in through here. That's the problem. Good eye, buddy. That's exactly what she's doing. Now she shouldn't be that. able to. This old tree's about to fall here. Let's go ahead and push this down. The yeah. other way. Not this way. Ah. Look at that. That's where she's been coming. Yep. Here's the hole. She See this? Gone through that too. Goat fur right here. Where she's going to come in and out. Right here. This tree grew into this fence. And now there's a big hole here. And the tree is dead. So the boys have gone into business. They of course had Smokey right here. And back here behind them, behind Smokey is his wife, Bella. We have like two or three Bellas on the farm. And um, we gotta build them a bigger pen. We believe Bella is probably with babies in her belly. What do you think? Buddy, I think she's big. The boys say she is. So these are two Angora rabbits and um, you can get their fur and make stuff. This is Kitty. We haven't shown Kitty because she normally doesn't come out very much. This is Papa's cat. And she wasn't always the friendliest, as you can see. Come here, girl. Kitty. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. There you go. She's getting older and she's getting a lot more friendly as she goes. Let's see if she gets gets me nope look at her good girl she's still skittish and kills mice and eats them and gets rid of rodents for us <laughs> well, she's all right. I'm all right. But I thought I'd give it a try. She did all right. I'm not hurt. She's not hurt, right, girl? Huh? So. Are you? I don't know. You're gonna try it, huh? Yeah. He's no. <laughs> No, don't don't try that. <laughs> he he was thinking about trying to get up on her bare back. <laughs> oh, I'd rather. Uh, yeah. We don't have a red thing. Around here. No. I don't think you're gonna be able to do that. Jump. Yeah. It was hard on me too. That saddle. Let's go. So I was pulling her back a little hard, too hard, and she was going back on me. Yeah, but 
she was going a little faster and I wanted and going right for the kiddos and <laughs> she wants to run with that saddle <laughs> Mama, your dad is determined to go see what it's like in the heavens. <laughs> Poppy, what are you doing? I'm going to take that horse from you. You know, Mommy doesn't want you on that horse right now. All right. I got an idea. Let's, <laughs> let's take this off. <laughs> Poor Papa tries something crazy and kills himself. <laughs> good girl. All right, girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Woo! We averted that disaster. What were you thinking? <laughs> okay. Up on the front porch today, got rained out at work. So, show you the front yard from our front porch perspective. I don't know if we've ever been on the front porch before. I don't, I'm positive we haven't been on the front porch before doing any filming, but we have been in the front yard because our muscadines are right up here and the flag, of course. Nice rainy day. You see sticks on the ground and bricks from the boys playing in the yard, doing stuff they shouldn't be. Mama's got roses. She's got a rose here and a row of roses there. She's got some white roses I bought her for her anniversary, a little late. Okay, very late. Thought they were up here. I don't see them. They're here somewhere. She planted them somewhere. So, hey, hope you enjoyed watching us ride Blondie. Papa and I are going to put a leather saddle on her and ride her properly. I'm not certain if it was my uncertainty or the fact that I haven't ridden a horse in probably over 25 years. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys be good. We appreciate everyone subscribing. We appreciate all of you watching. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Share with your family. Be good to your family. Be good to your neighbors. And remember, like Gabriel said last week, it's bad to be bad. But it's always good to be good. So y'all be good. Come back. Watch us again. We appreciate you. Be blessed. Mm -hmm.